I'm gonna start off with my skin. I'm feeling a little bit bougie today, so we're going with Lancome Absolute. This is their soft cream. Whilst I'm at it, I'm going to prep my lips with the Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Hydro Plump Treatment. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Trisunga 22 CNT Wig Cushion Foundation. This is number two, Sand Beige. For concealer, I'm going to be using Wake Make. This is shade 20. And I'm going to use this under my eyes and to highlight my face. Next, I'm going to move on to contouring. Excuse my dirty palette, but this one is from Jess Jeb. And I'm just going to shade in my jawline, a little bit around my cheekbones and my forehead. Got to lift my little roller up to do up here. Now going in with a smaller blending brush. This is from uh, Sigma. It's their medium angled shading brush, E70. So I'm just going to Mix the same colors again and contour my nose. I'm starting up near the brows, so I'm just like blending it up here first. Blend it a little further down. Okay, that's pretty good for now. Later, I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of contour powder on top to set it. I'm gonna set my base using the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. I'm just using the puff it comes with. Now this is pretty good for oily skin. So if you have like larger pores, any texture, this will help sort of like disguise that. And then where I put the contour, I'm gonna set it with a contour powder. I'm just using the lighter two shades for this. Alrighty, so my skin is looking on point. You can see that there's a lot more dimension now. There's no harsh lines, but you can see that the perimeters are shaded. It's sculpting my face. Now let's go in and do the brows. I like to go in with a brow powder first. I'm actually gonna be using the brown shade from my new palette with Pixie. Yes, your girl has a new collab. So the color I'm gonna be using is this shade, Daily Dose, because it's like one of my most used colors. Um, it's a nice neutral brown. It's matte, so perfect for the brows. And I'm just gonna be using a short shader brush for this. So I'm just going to almost like color in my brows. Just the general shape. Then I'm going to go in with a brown mascara or brown brow cara. Look how cute these are. I actually got a bunch of these. This is from a brand called Eye Crown. It's, it's actually my first time using this, so we'll see how it goes. But I got like their um, brow mascara and some other eyelash mascaras. So I'm just going to apply this and I'm going to wipe off a lot of that product because, you know, when you take the wand out, it's like loaded. And if you have too much product, it can smear on your skin. So I'm going to take a lot of that off. And then now I'm going to ever so gently coat my hairs. And then to fill in any sparse gaps, I'm actually going to use this Drawing Double Eyelid Eyeliner. It's from a brand called Cezanne. I believe it's Japanese. So it's a brush tip liner. And apparently you're supposed to use it on your eyelid like crease to further define it. But I like using it as a like brow, brow stroke liner. Brow hair liner? What would I call it? Did I just make up a new name? Back to eyes now. I'm going to be using crease, which is this shade. Self-explanatory. I'm going to be using it on my crease. 
I find that this brown is like the perfect shade for a transition color. So I'm just gonna pop it on my eyes now. Let's go for more of a rounded eye. So I'm bringing that color quite high up, but I'm not like fanning it out too much. Then I'll go into Daily Dose, the same color I used for my brows. And this is gonna add some depth. I'm going to work that closer to my lash line. I'm still sticking with my matte so far. I'm using a smaller brush and I'm grabbing this darker brown. It's very deep and it's called depth. I'm gonna use this to darken up my lash line. So I'm liking how that's blending out. I'm going to just extend my eye now and kind of just do a little cat eye. Then I'm going to line my top waterline with a brow gel liner. This one is from Marc Jacobs. For the inner corner, if you like, you can extend the inner corner a little bit with that brown gel. This will help to make your eyes look a little bit larger. Next, I'm gonna go in with a black gel now. This is the gel liquid liner from Wake Make. And what I'm gonna do is just pop this on the center of my eye where my pupil will be. So that's gonna draw more attention and make my eyes look bigger. I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line. And for this, I'm going to do a little bit of a different technique to make my eyes look bigger. So going back to crease, that brown shade I use earlier and a small brush. I'm just gonna start from the inner corner and I'm just going to lightly, almost like line my lower lash line to the center where my pupil is. And now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And so instead of following my natural lower lash line and curve up like this, I'm going to almost like leave a little bit of skin or a bit of gap and then line it a little bit lower. And at the end, I kind of want to connect and swoop it up. Then to accentuate that skin area that you've left, just use a nude color liner. Just draw over that and that's going to accentuate and make it kind of look like you've got more skin there. And then now I can go in with Daily Dose, a slightly deeper color, and just map out that line so it's a little bit more clear. I'm going to grab that eyelid liner I used before and just further define that line so it looks more crisp. Now I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. I'm going to mix two shades together. This sort of champagne shade called Gleam and then this one with Vibin, which is a bit more bronze. So I'm just going to create a shade in between. I'm gonna tap the tiniest amount on top, really, really gently. I just want it so when I like blink, it kind of gives me that wet look. And we can bring some of that just beside our liner in the inner corners. I'm gonna load my lashes up with mascara now. I'm gonna be using two different ones. So the eye crown one in Volume King and a ColourPop one, also a volumizing mascara in the shade One Smart Cookie. I'm gonna go in with the brown first and apply that to my lower lashes, but only halfway. Then I'm gonna grab a brown liquid liner. This one is from Heroin Make, a Japanese brand and I'm going to draw in the remaining lashes on my lower lash line. I feel like my top lashes are lacking a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a strip lash. I'm gonna use a natural light lash from my brand Petite Cosmetics, and this is called Dixie. So you can see that this is a super natural pair and it has like a transparent clear band. A little trick I like to do is grab my brown liner and I'm just going to line that band a little bit just so that when I stick it on, it's going to blend in with my liner. So this is a good tip on how to disguise any clear band lashes. Then you can go ahead and apply glue on top and stick it on. 
So that's one eye done. Can you see the difference? This eye definitely looks way, way bigger. And I think it's great to kind of cheat a little bit on the lower lash line, especially for those of you who have like hooded eyes and limited space to work with up here. We can always change our eye shape a little bit by tweaking the lower parts. Now, I'm really liking how my eyes turned out. I can leave it like this or I can amp it up a little bit with a bit of glitter. You guys know I'm awful glitter. So I'm using this Stila Diamond Dust Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I like this glitter because it's kind of like spaced out and it doesn't accentuate like lines or creases if you have any. For cheeks, I'm going to be using a Buttercup from my palette. Yes, this is an eyeshadow, but you can double it up as a blush color. It's actually really soft. And then for lips, I'm going to take the lip balm off. I'm going to use this lip combo here. So this is the Fenty Unbutton shade. And this is from Jess Jeff and it is called Lip Fresco Glorious. So first I'm going to apply Unbutton all over my lips. And I like to kind of overdraw my cupid's bow a little bit to make my top lip look bigger. Now, this is going to get a little weird, but don't worry. I'm going to just apply a little bit of eyeshadow. This is Soft Fade. And I'm going to apply this shadow on top of my Cupid's bow to mattify that area and to deepen up a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. Because when I overdraw or apply lipstick over that area, when the light hits it, um, you can see it's a little bit shiny. So you can see that I've like lined above my lip line. So... I just like to flatten that a little bit. And then I'll just blend that soft fade color all around the perimeters of my lip. This blows out my lip line. It also sets the lipstick. Now I'm gonna go into the Jess Jep lipstick and just pop that in the center of my lips. Oh my God, how good does this lip combo look? <gasps> So this is the final look. I had a lot of fun creating this look. I think it's been a while since I transformed myself and played with different makeup techniques. And I know a lot of you guys have been requesting some more makeup tutorials. So I wanted to do this one, keep it nice, short and sweet. And of course, I wanted to show you guys different ways you can use my new palette with Pixie. This is Feeling Fresh. You saw me use it pretty much all over my face. So it's a super versatile palette. I will be sure to link it for you guys below. Support your girl, cop a palette for me. Now, for those of you who are new here, don't forget to click subscribe. That's one way you can show your support for my channel. That is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God, what did I just do to my hair? Do you guys want some spaghetti? Lazy girl hacks. Only do a press ons for one hand. The hand you're gonna be posing with. I gotta tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time